Hello everyone, it's me again, your host Richard Evans, and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. In this episode, I want to talk about the augmented reality feature inside TriCaster. You can access the augmented reality option from within your mix effects. So this allows you to layer different upstream keyers on your mix effects on, say, a virtual set, for example, and add a parallax effect to it. This will make your upstream keyers sources look like they are moving in a 3D environment whenever you're making a virtual camera position change in your shots. It can create some pretty cool looking effects, so let's take a look. All right, this is the TriCaster TC1 interface, and you'll see on my mix effect number two here, which is on my program window, is I have a lady on her virtual set. So let's go ahead and open up that virtual set on my mix effect number two and start to look at some of the settings here. So I only really have one layer going on, and that is her standing in the background. And what I'm going to show you is going to start uh, very simply at first. So the only things that I'm going to be doing within this shot is uh, I'm going to, I already have some pre-programmed uh, camera moves here, so I am just going to do a simple zoom in to my host here, okay? So this is just what I have by default, looking good, whatever, etc. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to start to add some other additional people to my virtual set here. So let me go ahead and bring in my upstream keyer number one and my upstream keyer number two. Okay, so the first thing that I want to show y'all is how to not do that uh, this properly. So uh, you'll see if I open up the input uh, number four for my upstream keyer settings that I have augmented reality turned off and that is also off on my keyer number one as well. So we're going to do that same shot here and what you would expect if you did a camera zoom in is that we would just basically zoom into the sh shot, shot, right? So let's go ahead and do that and let's check it out. And, oh, nope, that's not working right, because those upstream keyers right now are just keyers layered on top of it, so they aren't even tied to the control and the motion of my virtual camera. So let's go ahead and change that, and then we're going to use augmented reality to do that. Okay, so the first thing is uh, I'm going to create a virtual camera zoom. Now, if you, when you have your camera set in a static location and then you actually zoom in and out of a shot, basically what will end up happening is you'll just basically get closer to your thing. So just magnify it, right? Okay, so we're going to do that first by turning on augmented reality. So I'm opening up the settings for my upstream keyer number two and turning on augmented reality. And I want to note here that parallax is set to 0%, and that will become clear here in a bit. Uh, let's do the same thing on my keyer number one, turn on augmented reality, and parallax is zero. Okay, so now we're going to do that same shot, but now we're going to zoom in, do a virtual zoom in using augmented reality, and therefore it will take all of these shots and push them out of the way as if it was a normal uh, camera shot. So, okay, let's go ahead and do that, and push in, and check it out. So now it's just zooming into the shot as if they were right there, okay? Now, uh, let me go ahead and zoom out, and I want to, keep, uh, to take note here, look at everybody's shoulders and how they're lined up next to each other. They're kind of overlapped just a little bit, okay? So whenever you, whenever you would do a, a, a normal camera zoom, again, you would just zoom into it, and it would just magnify the shot, okay? But we can also do a virtual camera push, which means we're not using, you know, manipulating the iris of the camera, we're actually physically moving the camera and pushing it forward into our shot. And when you do that, that's when you'll see things start to shift and move a little bit because of the way that camera uh, angles will work. So let's go through and do that by turning on augmented reality and the parallax side of things. So when you have an image that's closest to the screen, you're going to want the number to be on the higher, like 100% and down. So let's go ahead and set my closer speaker to parallax as 90. And then let's go over to keyer number one and set that parallax to 30, okay? Because he's kind of in the middle there. So kind of think about that whenever you want to do some of these shots. All right, so now what we're going to do, that same camera positioning that get, again, but instead of doing a zoom, we're going to do a camera push using augmented reality. All right, so let's go ahead and do that, and let's go ahead and launch that and check it out. Now you'll see that everybody starts to separate a little bit as if we were actually physically pushing into a shot which is pretty dang cool. So this is on a virtual set with a virtual camera, but you can still do some virtually awesome stuff. 
As you can see, the augmented reality feature on the TriCaster can give you some pretty cool dynamic results, so start playing around with it and have some fun. Now I hope that this video helps expand your new technology just a little bit more, and if you're looking for even more tutorial videos like this one, subscribe to our YouTube page at youtube.com slash newtechinc. We have everything from short tutorial videos to full-length get started trainings. And if you want to find out even more information about new tech products and services, talk to your local reseller or visit our website at newtech.com. Also, check out our continuing coverage over on newtech.tv where we feature product announcements, interviews with new tech users and third-party developers. And you can even sign up to get a free personal new tech product demonstration by going to newtech.tv and clicking on the demo button at the top of the screen. Also, be sure to tag us in your Instagram posts at New Tech Inc. or just use the hashtags New Tech or TriCaster. We love to see how people are using New Tech products in their shows. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you again next time on the next edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.